Hyperion is a circus of fear and rumor. No one can take your power away from you unless you let them. When history is written, how would you like to be remembered? Dune prophecy begins 150 so years after the Great Machine Wars. It was basically like a war against AI. The machines are defeated by the human race because they become too powerful. After the machine wars, what grows up in the Dune universe is a kind of neo-feudalism, and power is very unevenly distributed, and there are the great houses that hold significant access to spice and to wealth. All the great houses have their own kind of fiefdoms that they lord over. They're on planets. At the center of it is the Carino family. Carino has to balance the will of all of the houses and his kind of being undermined. The game has to be played. You can have an ulterior motive, but there are rules that you have to play by. We are all just pieces on the board to be played in the pursuit of power. The conflict between House Atreides and House Harkonnen stems from the Machine Wars. And it's disputed what happened. The Atreides accused the Harkonnens of betrayal. If you've watched the film, you'll be expecting anyone with the surname Harkonnen to be almost unhuman. But we're showing the more human beginnings of House Harkonnen. These people, they have a very complicated history. Valia was born with a sense of injustice. It's a shadow of what we're going to see in the Harkonnens later on, where they're completely devoid of any empathy or moral compass. They've got it in a sort of embryonic form. Dune prophecy begins 10,000 years before the birth of Paul Atreides. It's a very different time. House Atreides is yet to be established, though the Atreides name is trying to work its way back into power. House Atreides haven't really stepped their foot into the political game as of yet, but more to come. All the great houses are jockeying for power. That is always present. They are always conniving and scheming behind the scenes. You have shifting viewpoints on these characters. Do you feel like they're obviously the good guys and then events occur that change your mind about that? It's one of the great strengths of the show.